Tiger Leaping Gorge and the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain, considered among the most beautiful remote places in southwestern China. And this is what could ruin the picture. The second largest infrastructure project in China, a new hydropower station in the model of the giant Three Gorges Dam. The government says its construction is imperative. Never mind the destruction of a natural wonder downstream and the damage to people's lives. Ma Guoming and his family once lived on the banks of the river. He had an orange orchard and was also a pepper farmer. Officials forced him off his land to build the dam. And today, his family of six lives in this one room in the back of a restaurant. I thought life would be better with the dam project. But now, life is actually worse. I'm homeless. It's not just one, but a series of dams being built along this river, which means a series of towns affected. The government says all the disruption is worth it. Tens of thousands of people face displacement. Four dams will be built along this upper tributary of the Yangtze River. And plans for eight more are under discussion, for a total of a dozen dams just in this province, plus two in Tibet. The now landless farmers have been asking for compensation for years. We could only meet them at night. Authorities had warned them not to speak to us. There's the problem of unemployment and housing. And what about the elderly? We receive $25 a month. How can we live on that? At one point, officials moved over 4,000 residents a thousand kilometers south. Confused and jobless, most have returned. I've been homeless for five, six years. Life has no meaning anymore. I have nothing. There is no way to survive. I have no income. Officials told us assisting displaced farmers is their number one priority. But if the first phase of land seizures are any indication, there will be problems ahead. No land means no income. And that means an uncertain future. I hope my children will grow up, find respectable work and be honest, upright adults, not like the corrupt officials who didn't compensate us. We want equality, transparency and justice. Society is too rotten these days. Mr. Ma can only imagine a better life. He lives a different reality. Food and shelter is a day-by-day -day struggle. His children often tell their father they'd like a home. But for now, it's just a dream. Melissa Chan, Al Jazeera, Yunnan Province, China.